Hello, uh, uh, we will just uh, have the manufacturing systems technology uh, module 22. So, last uh, lecture we had tried to understand how we do the optimization of the, uh, the cutting velocity or feed and uh, the depth of cut etcetera. And in that respect what we had formulated was that there is a particular way to do the optimization by either considering the minimum cost model or the minimum time model uh, or the maximum production rate model. So, uh, we were just about uh, trying to understand what is the minimum cost model and there I think we had formulated an expression uh, which was talking about the cost per component. as the equation C 0 T 1 plus C 0 T C plus C 0 T D times of T A C by capital T plus C 1 T A C by capital T, where the T A C is actually the, the actual cutting time, okay. the uh, capital T here is the to life. And obviously, there are different costs like the labor overhead cost C 0, uh, T 1 is actually the unproductive time or the non-productive time, T C is the cutting time so on so forth. And T D is actually the, the total tool changing time per cutting edge of the particular tool. And we had in detail explained that how this cost uh, is bestowed upon in a uh, particular situation. So, uh, let us consider now. single pass turning operation. So, if capital L, capital D and small f are the length of cut in millimeters the diameter of work piece again in millimeters and the feed rate in millimeter per revolution respectively. Then the cutting time per piece for a single pass operation is represented by this formulation here pi L D by 1000 V f. Obviously, the uh, cutting velocity being in the parameter which is to be uh, sort of optimized. Okay. So, we want to uh, create a, uh, a maximum velocity kind of a condition and uh, this is actually a standard formulation pi L d by 1000 V f. Uh, the actual cutting time of a certain uh, single pass turning operation. D is the diameter of the work piece, L is the length of the cut that we are considering and uh, in a way how much material has been removed and uh, F is the feed rate in millimeters per revolution. So, for corresponding to one revolution what is the uh, feed at which uh, the tool is proceeded. So, it is a standard formulation. So, if we substitute this value of time of cutting uh, in the equation given earlier here equation 1, let us look at how it changes. So, uh, we have 
upon substituting the TC value in the tool life equation and the cost per piece C u can be written down as C 0 T 1 plus C 0 phi L D by 1000 V f plus C 0 phi L D by 1000 V f times of capital T value which is governed by the tool life equation. So, the T really can be represented as C by V to the power of 1 by n or in other words 1 by T can be V by C to the power of 1 by n. Okay. So, I can say uh, I can straight away represent this here as V by C to the power of 1 by n instead of this T at the denominator here times of T d okay, where the time T d reflects the time to change the cutting edge of the particular tool. I have detailed about this T d etcetera when we talked to talked about this particular equation time of changing one cutting edge. plus the total cost per tooling which has been represented as T A C by T times of C 1. So, obviously, we substitute the value of T A C again back here as pi L D by 1000 V F times of 1 by T which is V by C to the power of 1 by N and this is how the overall cost equation would come out to be. So, in most of the situations the feed rate and the depth of cut are fixed values. Therefore, the cutting speed V is the decision variable now. So, upon partially differentiating the C u value with respect to the variable, the decision variable which is v in this particular case may result in some optima right may result in an optima. So, obviously, we have to differentiate and equate to 0 in that case. So, let us actually do this uh, differentiation and see uh, what it turns out to be or what it means actually uh, in this particular case. So, so, upon differentiating d c u with respect to d v from equation for the cost drawn earlier, we get c 0 pi L d divided by 1000 f times of minus 1 by v square plus c 0 pi L d T d divided by 1000 f times of c to the power of 1 by n times of d by d v of v to the power of 1 by n minus 1 plus c 1 pi L d by 1000 f c to the power of 1 by n times of d by d v v to the power of 1 by n minus 1 equals to 0 
and from this particular equation we are left with a final form v to the power of 1 by n equals c 0 divided by 1 by n minus 1 times of c 0 t d plus c 1 times of c to the power of 1 by n. In other words the v minimum happens to be equal to c divided by 1 by n minus 1 times of c 0 t d plus c 1 by c 0 to the power of n. So, upon substituting the value of cutting speed in the tool life equation we obtain the optimal tool life T min for minimum unit cost as T min is equal to 1 by n minus 1 times of C 0 T d plus C 1 by C 0. This is just corresponding to the <coughs> value the V min by just substituting in the equation V t to the power n equal to C. Okay. So, that is how you arrive at the minimum time based on this formulation. So, in a nutshell then we are left with the condition that has been given to us where there is a minimum velocity at which you can operate in involving the different costs including the overhead cost, the, uh, the cost of tooling really, the overall time to change uh, the one particular cutting edge and the tool life index and the tool constant. So, uh, and of course, the exponential. Okay. So, all these uh, parameters are really determining uh, the V minimum in the particular case when we are talking about the minimum cost model. The other model which is of importance is really the maximum production rate model as I had earlier illustrated. So, this is again another optimal condition and uh, for the maximum production rate uh, which is inversely proportional to production time per piece. Uh, obviously, the maximum rate would correspond to the minimum time per piece which we are talking about. So, we now try to find out what is that optimum model that can be illustrated. So, let us look at what really we mean by time per piece. So, again uh, we consider some uh, representation here to u for the time per piece. So, what would be the essential components of the time per piece? So, it will be of course, a non productive time per piece. plus the cost of machining time per piece plus the tool changing time per piece as the overall total time that is applied for doing one particular single pass turning uh, operation on the system. Okay. So, let us now substitute the usual course of values uh, in terms of the tool life uh, time, the cutting time and the actual cutting time. So, we obtain Q to be equal to T 1 plus T C plus T d times of T a c by T. This represents the frequency at which the tool is being changed. Obviously, the cutting of the time for changing one cutting edge, the parameters remain as such same. This is the actual cutting time, this is the non productive time. And uh, so, we just uh, substitute uh, the value here by having again the formulation pi l d by 1000 v f, which we described in the earlier cost model. Okay. L is uh, the length in millimeters, d is the diameter of the workpiece in millimeters, V is the cutting velocity in meters per minute and uh, then F is basically the revolution uh, 
uh, the sorry the millimeter per revolution feet that uh, that we, we need to consider and so this would be again augmented by uh, the actual cutting time td times of tac the actual uh, time of cut again represented approximately by the same tc value uh, divided by the tool life uh, from the taylor equation 1 by capital t so we see v by c to the power of 1 by n so upon partially differentiating q with respect to v equating to 0 and solving the v we obtain del t u by del v equals pi l d by 1000 f times of 1 by v square minus plus pi l d by 1000 f c to the power of 1 by n d v to the power of 1 by n minus 1 by d v times of t d equals 0 and from this condition we can actually arrive at a maximum velocity condition as c divided by 1 by n minus 1 times of t d to the power of small n. So, again for the maximum production rate model the total amount of tool life from the Taylor's equation can come out to be 1 by n minus 1 times of T d. Okay. So, you have a velocity from the tool life the maximum uh, velocity corresponding to the maximum production time and the time corresponding to the maximum production time represented in these equations. So, you have learned now. So, you have a uh, optimization criteria based on cost with the minimum cost criteria per piece and then <laughs> the minimum time criteria or maximum production criteria per piece and in both aspects you have certain end conditions uh, which is defining the cutting velocity which would be the optimum range of velocity of operation of the uh, particular turning uh, process. So, I am going to delve into a little more into a practical example and uh, show you how such machine selection decisions can be made or the um, the machining conditions uh, uh, can be chosen uh, for doing this maximum production rate or the minimum cost per piece model in the next module. Uh, so, this brings us to the end of uh, the current module. Thank you.